I would have made it. How you doing, Mr. You Baker? Doing? Very good it's seeing you out of again. His mind. Yeah. I couldn't take it this morning. <laughs> I, I think yes. the whole Obama thing is really getting to him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, no, I would have thought you just would have been in such a good mood after the whole Bin Laden. Yeah. Thing. Well, I, I am in a good mood about that. I, I had altercation with some driving this yeah, morning so on I my hear. way in, and mm. and. Uh, you know, and, and the fact that uh, Obama is, uh, you know, coming down to ground zero and uh, going to be screwing up New York City again. Could, could you just give your speeches from the White House? It's very nice. Well, that's the, very good. It's important that he goes to ground zero. What, no. That's Thursday, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I want to yeah, start yeah, by yeah. saying uh, I saw you all over the TV yesterday, Mike Baker. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. You're a big, big get right Mike's now. Mike's the go-to oh, guy. I'm a huge get. And, yeah, and, although I was bigger during the royal wedding. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was a big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, all over the place. And you're usually uh, a Fox guy, but I think I saw you on CNN yesterday, right? Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, oh, is that going to mess you up no, a little bit? No, no. I, you know what? I'm, I'm good CNN? to go anywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a complete media whore. I'll, yeah. I'll go anywhere. Yeah. Go anywhere. Why not? Uh Wow, so much to get into. Um, first of all, uh, we, we all heard how this happened. Uh, so so far, the, the details are still coming in. But um, as far as when this started, when the, the real intelligence came in that this guy is probably in Pakistan, uh, this compound is very suspicious, uh, do you have any idea when that first started really ringing some bells? Yeah, you know, it, it, the, the amazing thing about this is, is you know, you get that 40 or so minutes on the ground, right? and, mm. and, and, and rightly so, everybody's fixated on that, because that's, you know, that's, that's the hot time, but sure. to get to that point, uh, you got a, an incredible amount of work that goes on ahead of time, and what happened was they, they, they started picking up some uh, information all, all the way back to 2007, really, wow. you know, even, even a little bit before then, from detainees and where were those guys they were you know being held yeah <laughs> by the agency yeah um, and of course uh, that program wasn't very popular for quite a while so didn't Khalid Muhammad mention the name was didn't they get it from him well they got they got it from uh, they they were picking up stories from a, a variety of places about individuals because what they were looking for was you're looking for anybody who's somewhere in bin Laden's orbit and mm -hmm. you're trying to find some point of entry, right? And so they didn't care who it was, somebody who was handling money, logistics, whatever it could be. And they started getting some stories involving the same pseudonym, the uh -huh. same alias. And once you do that, you're getting, uh, you know, over here you get one, you know, uh, detainee talking about it. He mentions the, this the alias. You think, hmm, that's interesting, because over here, you know, last month, somebody mentioned the same person. Kind of corroborates right. the Right, so then you start triangulating in. And what they, they started running these names in a very coordinated fashion. Interrogations are incredibly labor-intensive. So unlike what, you know, what all the crap was in the media about, oh, my God, interrogations. Waterboarding. You know, it's a uh, very controlled atmosphere. Right. And so you take all this information, and, and they started running it past. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed uh, and, 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 and one other individual, Libby, and these guys just blanked, right? They said, we don't know, you know, it doesn't ring any bells. And, you know, in an interrogation, that sort of thing, if you've been picking up sort of a consistency from independent interrogations, that'll ring a bell. And rightly so, they thought, well, hold on a second, if both these guys are blanking on, on this, this pseudonym or this alias, hmm. then maybe we got something here. They started working that uh, more, you know, personnel out in the field, uh, more recruits in terms of Pakistani agents, everything they could find, and they eventually got a family name for the uh, for the, for this guy who was a courier. Wow! And a courier does what? Brings information or brings uh, t the tapes back and forth? Or what exactly do they do? Uh, pretty much anything, you know. I mean, he's he's, he's running messages. It's like Kenny, part. not so much oh. running cash, you know. But yeah, <laughs> does he does he go grocery in fact, shopping? Know, in fact, one of the uh, detainees actually coughed up Kenny's name. Yeah, Kenny yeah. Yeah. gave up yeah. gave up club soda. Kenny. <laughs> yes, he said yeah. lurch. <laughs> Code name dummy. Kelly yeah. <laughs> Shake my arm and say, I, I don't recognize the name. And so, but it, it, that's the sort of work that, it, that it, it took. And they got the family name. Once you get the family name, then you take it. It's, it's you know what, in a way, it's like an investigation you'd watch mm -hmm. on, on CSI or anything else. It is incredibly uh, painstaking, and labor intensive, not particularly exciting, but you got to do all that work to get your 40 minutes on target. Right. Right, yeah. to get the uh, the big to go to the big game, as they say. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it's fascinating to, uh, to learn that they were watching this in real time at the White House. Now that is uh, that's like Hollywood movie stuff, right there. Yeah, uh, yeah it's like a Tom that, Clancy thing. Yeah, yeah, thinking yeah. that they're sitting there actually watching. Now I I would guess uh, some helmet cams. Um, 
Yeah, a lot of a lot of coverage, as you can imagine, because you, you know, and it's it's not so much cover your ass, although you know, unfortunately in today's you know world, mm. there's got to be an element of that. Uh, but a lot of it is also for verification purposes, uh, you know, forensic purposes. They want to make sure that they, you know, they, they've they've got a lockdown on everything there, including the people, the the the, the gear that they're picking up, yeah. and, and they picked up some tremendous material off. Oh of this. man, from so, what I heard, uh, yeah. now you know, obviously we just here with filtered through the news, but. Uh, from what I heard, uh, a lot of computer equipment, a lot yeah. of uh, yeah. storage. A lot of Bin Laden's uh, porn stash. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and you know, that would just be a kicker if, if you looked in there and just said, oh, uh, so. How great would that be? He's into yeah. uh, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. But they got Osama's. <laughs> particularly if it was, yeah, it was like, you know, like goat yeah. porn or something. <laughs> so, so. But they basically got Osama's hard drive. That's just amazing. Right. Absolutely. And, 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 uh, I think one of the best things about this is, is the fact that it was just outside of Islamabad, right? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the Pakistanis are all like, I don't you know. Yeah, now uh, this is really bringing up a lot of shit with the Pakistanis because right. uh, uh, it was next to what uh, amounts to their version of West Point. So it was, it was very relatively close to it. Uh, a huge complex that really didn't fit the neighborhood. And uh, the Pakistanis are just saying, hey, we, we didn't know. Now, even saying we didn't know makes them look stupid because how right. do you not? How do you not know? Yeah, how yeah, does it, it's not, not raise exactly. suspicion where you would go and maybe check it out or, or something. Especially so, because uh, this thing was being built in 2005, let's yeah. not forget. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. isn't an old mansion. It, right. They keep saying a mansion. It's more of a compound that they started building in 2005 and no one is suspicious that right. this thing is going up. And it's you know what this shit is like overseas? It, in, in, in places like this, right, anything that's happening... It's more interesting than what's going on in your day, right? So everybody <laughs> yeah. in that in that neighborhood, which is a it's a it's a nice area, it's a it's a it's a kind of a picturesque you know part of, of Pakistan. But all these people out there are saying things like, "Well, we just we had no idea. We're so surprised," you know. And you know, you get somebody well, say, "Well, you mean that tall guy down the street?" Well, I always had my suspicions. Yeah. yeah. What do you think the cover story was? What do you think they gave? They had to tell people in the neighborhood something. When they're walking by and they're seeing these big walls, pull, I wonder what they said. Like, oh, no, it's just a... Mine are all beeswax, yeah. probably. <laughs> no, <laughs> they probably told like them that. it was something else. I wonder what well, they uh, told people that was I mean, believable. Right. A lot of the military retired to that area, so right. maybe right. that... You know, knock down the suspicion slightly. I don't they know. Might have well, for general, a general. Or yeah, something? who knows? I mean, from from a cover standpoint, it was a smart move, right? For a variety of reasons. But basically, you know, he's throwing himself right in in, in plain yeah. sight, almost. And then he's also put himself in an urban area. You know, obviously, the last thing they, you know, that he he wanted to do was get hit by a, a drone. So he <laughs> knew that you know drones aren't going to be flying over that that right. Part of town. So it was there were there were smart reasons for them to put him there, but. It's inconceivable. There is no way in hell that there weren't individuals in the Pakistani intel service and military who did not know of course. that he was there. Of he was there. Just, there's just no possible fucking way. It's just so odd to, uh, that, that for so many years, and you realize how long he had probably been in this uh, compound here, uh, but for all those years that we just pictured him in that cave right. kind of on a little blanket and just thought he was there for for almost 10 years you know after 9 11 that he's just huddled in that and meanwhile you know he's got his bed he's got his computer he's, well they showed a satellite yeah. dish yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Guy was he's living large he's got a spike tv and all yeah, that yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. no netflix <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, how long was he living there uh, they're starting to say at least three years right? yeah they think he was a good long time and so you know if you go at the end of the day even even you know even a year is you know excessive when you think about where that location is where it is what's it? required so you know, again, I, we'll we'll go through a dance right now, and we already have started that dance. You know, uh, Secretary Clinton went out yesterday and talked about the you know terrific uh, support and cooperation. Of oh the yeah, the Pakistani yeah. government. Yeah, you know, what the hell is that all about? Th that that came out of nowhere, and it was like, why are you even saying that? Right. Like, not right. only is it utter bullshit, but you probably would get more mileage by not saying anything. Then saying, "Wow, they really helped." Did they? Well, yeah. did it come out though? We didn't even tell them. Yeah, right. right. right? I mean, there's, yeah, there's, there's, we there's, couldn't trust them at all. We so couldn't we couldn't trust them, right? And there yeah. were, there were, there were scenarios that are drawn. Anytime you have something like this, obviously, what, what, what happens? And you present the information to, uh, to the president. The president will say, okay, well, you know, go away and come up with a plan. And so JSOC, the Joint Special Operations Command, and and the and the CIA, you know, together. Um, 
put together some scenarios. One of the scenarios was actually to uh, to do a joint op with the uh, Pakistani uh, uh, military. Worked. So you can imagine what that was like. Oh, okay, scenario three. Now nah, we'll just no. nah, like, let's tuck that, that aside. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put that in the shredder. Uh, uh, is it possible that they uh, that they passed the information to the U.S. and then just wanted nothing to do with it because of backlash, but from giving him up? Like, is it possible that giving him up to us presented a lot of backlash from their people who who really are a lot of them, they're Muslim. I mean. Uh, and they might have rather have looked stupid than have looked like they fucking betrayed him to the U.S. No, I, I see where you're going with that. Um, I mean, it's you know anything's possible. I don't, I don't think that's you know okay. I, I, I don't think that there's any chance that that happened. Right. Honestly, that mm. if uh, if that were going to happen, you know, he would have been long gone. I mean, they, right. they, there was there, there's a concerted effort here. And again, you don't want to make too much of it. It's not a government-wide conspiracy. You know, it's not like the entire you know, Pakistani military and government yeah. were in on this. There's um, enough rats in there. Right. There was, a, there was enough. And we've always known that. We've always known there's sympathizers <clears throat> within the intel mm -hmm. service over there and, and within the military. <laughs> so that's not a surprise. But we've always been able to play this game, you know, that says, well, but we're still pretty much on the same sheet of music. Well, in, in a way, you know, we are because their sheet of music says... You know, we don't want our, 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 our power base to fall, right? Mm -hmm. They've got their own special interests. We got ours. Sometimes they, they match, and sometimes, you know, more often than not, they don't really mix. But we do this all the time overseas. Yeah. So. How are we able to, uh, to uh, get um, the, the people that we needed, the helicopters and the, mm -hmm. the resources, in um, to Pakistan, pretty close to the capital, uh, relatively speaking, and without them knowing without uh, the Pakistani government, you know, picking it up and saying, hey, who the, who the hell are these guys? You know, we, we, uh, uh, we used a, a CIA time portal. Ah, uh, <laughs> love those time portals. We haven't talked portals. about before, but I, I guess oh. we must disclose it now because I, uh, I knew it. Yeah. Um, it's a time portal. <laughs> yeah. They told me to say at least one thing that nobody knew about yeah. you know, when I come on the show. <laughs> Exclusive uh, time so, portal. Exactly. <laughs> but it's, um, y you know, we, we, the, uh, the, 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 the flight went in from just across the border in mm -hmm. Afghanistan. Yeah. We got we got operating bases all over, but um, this uh, came out of uh, Jalalabad, uh, the surrounding area. And you know, it's where where that house, where that compound is located, is maybe uh, a half day's drive from there to the Afghan border. That's a drive, right? A drive Everything takes okay. forever in a vehicle over there. So you know, you, you you load up the choppers, you head out. It's it's. It's a harrowing journey, but it's a, it's a quick one, relatively speaking. Right. And, you know, they're, they're coming in low. Um, the, but it's a, it's a good question because the, one of the biggest issues they had, because we're not doing a joint op, was they got to get in, right? They got to get out without some big fucking goat rope with the Pakistani military. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that would have sucked. Yeah, that would have sucked. That would have sucked. <laughs> yeah. Yo. And so they, uh, they, they got in. They had a lot of air assets up there besides the, the choppers, obviously. Oh, sure. And, you know, everything from the, from the drones to, to, you know, surveillance to, you know, gunships. But it, it, was, uh, it was a hell of an operation, but it was a very uh, well-planned operation. I mean, these guys and, and the guys that were involved in this, the SEALs, and, you know, and, and also the CIA paramilitary, you know, personnel. I mean, if you're not, if you're not doing it, you're training, right? And so every, there's no downtime. You're right. always training. And in something like this, once they once they decide on the scenario, and once the, the the president approves it, and and the clock is really ticking at that point because you've got you've gotten your surveillance in right, you've got eyes on target, um, so you've already got assets out there, and y y you've got now a problem. How much time do you spend training and preparing for it, and then how much is too much time because you might lose the opportunity mm. or the information might get out. You know, mm -hmm. somebody finds out about. So yeah, it's got to be a nerve wracking time. Right that's there. that point in time. Where, where it's really high speed, right? Because you've got to make that calculation, and then okay, now you got to go. And it's, at a certain point, you're never going to have. Just like you know, they're, they're going to be talking about this for a while now. But you know, they didn't really have the visual that they wanted on Bin Laden. Right? No, apparently, no one really had confirmation that he was absolutely in that place. Right. But you know what? They had enough information, and this is this is typical of of, mm. of, of really good, you know, operations. At some point, somebody's got to have the balls to just get off the X. Right. <laughs> so you got to make that decision. And the agency and, 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 uh, and the SEALs came together and said, OK, we got we got it. We got enough to, to, to take this risk. And, you know, off you go. But I mean, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Um, I, I had a uh, question about that shit. I forgot what I was going to ask. Oh, Jim. There was something about bin Laden. Oh, <laughs> something about something about his house. Oh, pre predator drones. How uh, how high do they 
do they fly? And do they have, they, were they surveilling him 24 hours, you think? How are they keeping a 24-hour watch on him without people on the ground? Uh, drones and uh, satellite coverage. Oh, satellite. And, and yeah, the, the okay. drones are. I mean, you're talking. You're talking. You know, way up there in the flight ceiling. You know, ten thousand, twelve thousand. You know, h higher. Um, uh, you know, I mean, these things are. When you look at these things, they are. Uh, yeah, and they're varying sizes too, depending on what you want. You know, you, oftentimes you see the pictures of the armed drones, right? Right. They're pretty massive. You know, but you know the the surveillance drones. You know, you're talking about you know a real high speed, small things, but they they'll stay up in the air also for you know multiple days at a time. And you couldn't even see them. Uh, at oh, absolutely that altitude not. No, the absolutely, size they absolutely are. not. Well, how and small? Are they? You, you never know. see these coming. How small are they? <clears throat> you know what? I mean, you know, honestly, I mean, I'm not giving away any sources and methods. Some of this stuff has been talked about, but I mean, you, you know, the size of a pizza pan. You know, some of Come these on. things. No, I'm absolutely wow. true. Yeah. Oh, are they really? Oh yeah. 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 I took yeah. photos in front of them in uh, Iraq. We had we got to sit in, in the actual control power. They, they wiped it clean, as they say. Yeah. But they were like. They, they were big. They were like you know as long, almost as long as the room. But that's I guess, but they have to because of the armed. Yeah, where they right. They're the armed hell yeah. fire the shit out of something. <laughs> I'm thinking they have to control like we used to control our motorized helicopters and stuff. <laughs> How do they keep them up <laughs> without hitting yeah, a tree? Guys standing out in the field. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Hey, and with the training, uh, they do a mock compound somewhere. Yeah, you'll set up in in, in this. Yeah. I mean, it's and it's as as close to exact as possible. Absolutely, and and so the the people. People, you know, there's so many people involved in some. I mean, well, okay, it's, it's not like there's thousands of people involved, but there are people that you know never get any recognition. I mean, uh -huh. all the way down to the guys that are putting together these mock-ups, you know, ballistic shooting houses, basically, you know, that are built off the blueprints of, right. you know, for instance, this compound. So when those guys went in, they they were very familiar with it after all the training they did. Yeah, exactly. To to as much as you always. You know, your preference is you know, just perfect. train, 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 train. Right. right. But, you know, they had such good coverage on this place because we had so much surveillance going on and coverage of it leading up to this. You know, once, once we finally determined we've got a, we've got a, a target here that's really credible, mm. that you, know, you got almost everything except for the architectural blueprints, right? So you, yeah. know, you know that it's 15 paces once you breach that door, you know, to that corridor. Mm -hmm. and, and you know that corridor is going to go left and then it's going to go right. You know how high that wall is that you've you got to be concerned with. And... You know, this is what these guys do. Sure. You know, so, I, uh, as far as surveillance goes, so you you have surveillance on the compound. I've always wondered this when you're <clears throat> watching somebody. Mm. A van leaves the place. How do you know Bin Laden is not in that van? Mm. Well, I mean, because it seems yeah. like that's the easiest way to get someone out. All right. of a sudden, a van pulls up. Next thing you know, the van pulls away. It's, and and you're sitting there as the surveillance guys going. The fuck is he in there? Right, right. If it, I mean, if it's not, yeah, right. If it's not a Prius how, or something like that, and you can't see through uh -huh. the windows, right. you know, then, then. Uh, but how does that play out with you guys? Well, you know, the the the, the short answer is you don't know, and, and and that's that's actually a good point because you know what you get used to, uh, and what I found when you uh, I talk to people is. You know, beach books, movies, you know, they expect everything to be cut and dried. Right. It's yeah. all, okay, it's either this or it's that. Well, right. it's never that. I mean, right, it's right. always fucking gray and murky. And you're making decisions and you're, and you're moving forward based on really imperfect information. And so you never get to that point where you have, you know, 100%. Confirmation or 100% quality intel. So it obviously freaks you out if you see a van come and go. You're like, oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, wow, is he even in there? Yeah, Are we going to commit to this now? But that, you know, what that does is that sends all sorts of other things in play because okay. then, you know, then you got to have the resources mm -hmm. in place to say, okay, well, somebody pick that up. You know, and you, you, you yeah, take and now look at the van, and, right, follow it, figure out what the hell it see is, see who gets you know. out of it, and right. everything leads to something else. So now you got to worry about, well, fuck, we've never seen this vehicle before. Now we got to run that to ground, right? And you're talking about it's not like here in New York City or someplace else. Not that the police work is easy, mm -hmm. but but, you know, this, it's, it's not like you go to the DMV and, and you know, shower and <laughs> yeah, say, well, I'd like to look the up plate. the plate number. You right. know? Uh, yeah. But it, so everything leads to something else. It's just like this never-ending, you know. It's a, oh, go, what's go, that go. saying where every military plan falls apart with the first point of contact? It's just yeah. like, yeah, well, yeah. however much you plan, usually the first point of contact with the enemy, uh, yeah. you're going to have to start thinking on your feet and change a it. Absolutely. Now, the copter as as is a prime yeah. example. That helicopter right. um, uh, not being able to, to leave that compound, uh, obviously they had a, a contingency plan for that. Right. They had enough uh, resources to still get everybody out, which is great, and got rid of the... Uh, the old uh, uh, helicopter there. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yep, you can't. We can't have it. You can't have it. Yeah. Uh, no, I get to blow it up. Yeah. Did, uh, did yeah. Obama make some ballsy calls here? Because they were saying that uh, there was there was a few calls. That, that weren't just like, all right, he's the president, he let it go. Like, there, was, there was actually timing issues and stuff where he said, yeah, uh, let, let's, let's go for this or let's do this. Did he actually have something to actually do with this? Oh, no, absolutely. This would not have happened unless the president said, yeah, it's a go. I mean, if, 
if he hadn't authorized it. So mm. you, know, you gotta be you gotta be fair. No matter what side of the fence you're on in something like this, you've got to have respect for for the fact that it was you know given a green light mm. and, and move forward. Because you know he could have kind of said, mm, geez, I don't know. What if it doesn't work? If it doesn't work, I'm yeah. not looking. I don't so want to be the Jimmy Carter guy. You know, exactly. Exactly. Didn't he uh, say no to a bombing of, for that yeah. reason? Like because they, 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 I think they said that Obama said no to a bombing because they might not be able to identify the body. Which yeah. Was, and you're in a residential area, and if he's not there, yeah. And you kill civilians, and he's not there. It's 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 a well, and it right. turned out there was uh, you know twenty some odd people in there, children and women. So if they oh, did, there? yeah, 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 a lot, yeah. A lot of kids, a lot of kids in there. Like so toddlers, if they, twenty-three. If they did fire a missile into there and just blew up a bunch of kids. Right, might not look too. I good. didn't know there was. I thought there was only four. How did they? When they were landing, I guess the whole compound must have been alerted that they were there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. But I guess at that point, there's nothing they could do, right? Well, no. I mean, they, they, you know, exactly. Once you know those, because you know, no matter how you'd like to think they're silent choppers, you know, they they, they make a fairly good racket. <laughs> yeah. And so once they come in, uh, and they, they they took some fire coming in. I mean, and so it's you know, and all those kids that were in there, it's absolutely yeah. true. If if we had if we had chosen that scenario, well, yeah. and that was yeah. one of those scenarios, if sure. they had chosen that bombing scenario. You know, I, 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 there would have been uh, much less uh, certainty over what had happened. And, yes, we would have gotten them, mm -hmm. but, you know, we would have magnified this, this the potential for blowback. Are you yeah. surprised there weren't more people uh, protecting him? There's given, only, what, given, four guys? Yeah, yeah, given where he was, though. Um, you know, your trade off for kind of hiding in plain sight mm. is your reduced profile, right? right. So the, the more security personnel you got in there, the more logistics you got to worry about. Uh, you know, the, the more efforts has got to be made to keep everything tamped down. If you have 12 so, armed guys walking the perimeter, true. Right, uh, right. people are going to start going, hey, uh, who, who lives there? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? But been, what about 12 guys out of sight, I'm thinking? Because the place is big yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but at I mean, some they've, point, they've they got to go out and. You know, get laid and and whatever bar barbecue. <laughs> you know, you, you like thinking it's like the movies where you know his cronies are just always around him inside. But, but they got lives these too. Are guys, they gotta go out. Yeah. They gotta do shit. They're you all know? sitting out in the courtyard playing poker. Just, yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I see what you mean, but I, I think it's it's it, because they. I mean, they were they were staring at this place through satellite coverage and, and other surveillance means uh, for months. Trying to you know get a sense of what's the pattern of activity in here. Mm. We've got because aside from just knowing the physical you know facilities and knowing you know heights of walls and everything, you got to know you know what is that pattern of activity. Because again, what are you trying to do? You're trying to catalog people. You're trying to catalog activities. Time of day when you know there's there's maybe uh, you know downtime. What happens at, at midnight? You know if you're going to launch this thing at midnight. What time yeah. do they go in? It was, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was about morning. just a little after midnight. Yeah. And I have to say, what a smart Bin Laden was smarter than I think a lot of people uh, thought. With the, like they burned their own garbage, like little things that you might not think to do, or mm. there's just nothing came out of there. That, oh, nothing used, came yeah. out of there. Yeah. yeah. Well, they yeah. did. Have, they had no phone line, low, no landline right. going in. They had no computers. Yeah. Uh, you know, the burning the garbage. You know, I mean, honestly, it, it's it's interesting because you know, the, the neighbors. You know, are, of course, now you're getting the neighbor thing that you get here in the U.S. Right? Yeah, you got, yeah. You, you got a psycho thinking. killer next to you. They all say <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> And here you're getting the same thing. You got a guy that's, that's saying, "Well, you know, we we were so surprised." I actually read a quote from one of the the, the locals who said, "We were so surprised to find out." He says, "You know, my friend had met uh, had met those people once at a bakery, and you know, he told me about you know the tall bearded man, and, and but he said he seemed very affable." <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, geez, I was man. so surprised. They seem so nice and quiet. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, hey, could you talk wow. about the Navy SEALs a little bit? Yeah. The, the yeah. special unit. Mm. Yeah. Well, this was SEAL Team they, 6. They sound like motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. They like, all, you know what? I, I got to tell you, they, they all are. I mean, they're all, yeah. talk about fantastic. Talk about well-trained. I mean, all, all the special forces, right? But right. And, and, you know, it, it's just, the, the, you know, the, the SEALs uh, and, and SIX has been working in uh, Afghanistan, f you know, since 2001. Mm. And so, uh, you know, they are very familiar with the turf and the terrain. Um, they are uh, incredibly... Um, uh, adaptable right so you throw a problem at them and they're you know, they're, they're almost i don't want to say they're cerebral you know i mean but they basically are i mean they're 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 they're, they're thinking soldiers right? and they not that you know the others are that's not to disparage any of them but but uh they are a, a a tremendous group and the training that they go through and continuously go through uh the single-mindedness that they have mm. and it, so it, this this uh this operation you know was was just incredibly well Put together, but it was also, I mean, you know, a, a big, you know, you know, 
kudos out to uh, the, the agency. I mean, the CIA was, was very yeah, much leading right the there, charge right, in yeah, terms of, yeah. of, of the intel and also, you know, military planning right alongside because our, our paramilitary operations within the agency are, are just second to none. No, it's, it's speculative, obviously, and, you know, because uh, we don't know for sure at, at this point. They said um, they encountered bin Laden um, and he would not resi give up. He, he resisted right. Right. Uh, and he took a double tap to the head. Um, just speculation on your part, knowing some of the people in the mindset of some of this, what, what kind of chance do you think they really gave him to give up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. before they pop uh, him yeah, twice sure. in the noggin? Okay, wait, wait, we're going to get this straight. Yeah, you, you can see about Bin Laden, like, right, right, he's walking, he's scratching his ass, he's, walking, he's eating a hot pocket, you know, he walks <laughs> yeah, out to hear yeah. what the noise is all about, and, you know, <laughs> and, and someone says, do you want to give up? Um, yeah. No, you know what, they, they took that seriously, honestly, because they knew this was going to be the end result. I mean, they, they walked this through. I mean, and, and uh, you know, these guys, they're not operating in a bubble, so they're not going to say, okay, here's our, uh, you know, they have these discussions, you know, where they are brought in to, to understand the implications of things that may happen during the course of this right. operation, you know. And uh, so they took that, that uh, command, you know, to attempt to detain him seriously, but... Uh, you know, you, you got a lot going on around you, right? It's and probably it is yeah, yeah. Very chaotic moments, and so you're going to give them an opportunity, but you're not going to stretch that out into a yeah. It's you not going to be a negotiation right. or, or <laughs> yeah, yeah, a yeah. fucking uh, blockade kind of a. Right. Hey, he's in here. Let's talk him out. Right. You got your, your mother's <laughs> here. She's out here on the street, Osama. <laughs> yeah. Come on out, Osama. Yeah. Uh, Wait, do you really yeah. think that they want? They, what they did was genius because he's vanished. He's off the face yes, of the earth. Yes, There's nowhere exist. for people to go. There's nowhere to build a shrine, and he's not alive, so they can't take hostages. Because people would be taking hostages all over the world right. to try to secure his release if they right. had kept him alive. You right. couldn't take him alive. You had to kill him. It's impossible. And, and having a, a, a place, a pilgrimage to go and, and have a, a place where he's buried right. to you know, inspire people. Uh, it is uh, a very strategic yeah. thing, I think, that they just dumped him in the ocean. That's great. Right. Well, you know, nobody was going to take that body anyway. I mean, you know, they, they, mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah. reports are that they asked the Saudis, and I, I believe they did. I mean, he was a Saudi. Uh, it, you know, you can imagine the Saudis. Are say, yeah, like, we, we don't, we want don't that. need that shit. Yeah, and <laughs> so nobody else was going to take him. And uh, they were absolutely right to do what they did. They showed, frankly, you know, <clears> and <throat> I think, you know, for correct reasons, they showed some real sensitivity and said, okay, fine, we're going to, you know, we're going to uh, stick with sort of Muslim burial practice. This is, yeah, all right, I get what they're doing with that. You know, frankly, yeah. you know, would I, I, who cares? But, yeah, exactly. You know, but you, you, again, you're thinking about the implications yeah. after the fact. Right. But no. is that sensitivity yes. or is that smart, like, um, using your, their own uh, religion as an excuse to dump the body yeah, immediately? No. Like, hey, like, you guys hey, are the ones that want to bury him immediately. Yeah. Right. Adios. <laughs> no, it's convenient. I mean, it's good that, you know, Muslim burial practices don't say we got to bury a body within them, say, you know, seven or eight days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. 24 uh, hours, yeah. come on. we yeah. got to help this guy out. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't <laughs> think we care that he got a proper burial. Mm. I, think, I, I think Jimmy's on to something. I think it, it was just convenient. a great way to get yeah. rid of him, and there's no, that he's in the wind. Yeah, yeah. where yeah, do you absolutely. go? So, yeah. so there's a guy out there that knows he killed uh, Bin Laden. I'm fascinated yeah. by that part yeah. of the right. whole story. Right. Like, and, and the world will never know the guy. Will Wait, we ever know who he is? Well, you know what? I, I, the world being what it is now, um, I mean, if you had said this, you know, if, if, if this had happened 30 or 40 or, you know, during our parents' generation, you know, World yeah. War II, yeah, no, no one's ever going to know. Might but, be on WikiLeaks yeah, at, at some point. It could be on WikiLeaks or, you know, you know, maybe the guy, you the, know, finishes up and signs a book deal. Who knows oh, what's going to happen? Does that, know. Does I that, killed Bin Laden. <laughs> does that guy what get a to, title. Does that guy get to go on vacation? Like, or does he have to go right back to training? <laughs> like, I, I, can't like, like I can't imagine you're the guy that just took out yeah. Bin Laden and now you have to go back to your... I mean, quote right. job. Like, right. what a yeah. what a letdown. You go out for beers, you know, and it's his stairway to, to a girl. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his stairway to heaven. Yeah, exactly. exactly. What do you do after uh, that? Yeah. yeah, these guys will be given some downtime, you know, because uh, uh, they've been training. Yeah, yeah. Yet it's been nonstop training, right? Right. Uh, in preparation for the op, so they'll definitely get some is downtime. There... But they, the good thing about these guys is, just like with 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 my old lot, is is they, they know how to keep their mouths shut, right? Sure. They know how to, you know, so they, part of uh, it. until until there's a reason to, or there's an opportunity, and the military says yes. 
because from our perspective, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, the, you know, they're going to keep their yaps Does up. a guy like that get special privileges? We've been talking about that uh, off and <laughs> Here's, I'll, 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 let, let me expose why we talk about that. We all have a, this f- daytime fantasy yeah. that we're the guys, so we want to be accurate in our fucking <laughs> childlike <laughs> fantasies right. about what life is like after you do that. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you get just, an extra heap of mashed potatoes in the mess. Do you get a break yeah. on your taxes? Yeah. Just some dumb thing. <laughs> that's, that's right. A free house and a, uh, and a hybrid car. Will, will the president ever uh, put a medal on the guy? I mean, like a public. Oh, uh, you know, these, yeah, there's, there's more than a, a, a certificate coming their way. There's no doubt. Oh, about I that, bet yeah. they're yeah. going to have yeah. a. No, it's, of, it, they. Um, will the whole team know, be treated equally? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Like, yeah. Will they all. Like the guy who actually shot him, it could have really literally been any one of them that shot him. I mean, they're right, all. Absolutely. You don't know what's, what's going to happen when you rock up. I mean, you know, you've got, again, you've got your movements, you've got your, 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 nah, your, the guy your disciplines. Knows. They all but, know who shot you know. him. Oh, no, I know. Oh, no, but, they know. But I mean, in terms of once you, once you rock up on site, you right. don't know. I mean, it could, it could happen to any of these guys. They could be the one who gets to, you know, tap yeah, them. Yeah, you go so, into a room. And, did yeah, they, did they have it. a little office pool before they went in? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's right. Wait, wait, don't shoot him. Remember, Bobby's downstairs and he won. So, hey, hey, Bobby, yeah, can you get up here? Everyone throws 100 bucks in. Whoever gets the kill shot gets the pot. Where were the kids in the the women that they didn't get killed. I mean, there's a couple of people. Where I, I didn't it's a realize big compound. it was a big compound. So they had a feeling yeah. that that's where they were, and where they had a feeling. Well, they, had to, they had to clear the place, and so they, they you know, these, you, you do the logical. They, they cleared, you know, from the ground up. Um, and again, you know, all this was based on the, the intelligence that they had in terms of the surveillance and everything. So they created yeah, yeah. the scenario on how to move through this this facility. And you're talking forty guys approximately that, that yeah, went there into were, this there complex. Was, you know, more than that, but you know, there were you know not very many that actually landed. And, and they, but again, there's guys you know protecting the perimeter, right, right, and the locking perimeter. that down. And, 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 you know. but, uh, but I would gather there's also people going through the compound clearing. And mm-hmm. if it isn't Bin Laden or another guy with a gun and it's women and children, obviously, you know, you don't open up on, on that. You right. secure right. it. And, and they were given over to uh, the Pakistani officials, hmm. uh, the women and children. But, uh, yeah, you hold them down, make sure nothing happens to them while... You know the the fun and hijinks happen upstairs <laughs> or something. Uh, yeah. What like, if you got the What if you got the duty of watching the toddlers? I know well, that's just like ah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, getting on. Yeah. There's a firefight upstairs, and I'm <laughs> okay, watching yeah. some kid pitch his pants. Play with a you know, stuffed yeah, yeah, animal. Yeah. Come on, come on, don't cry. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Handing fun. out chocolates like <laughs> yeah. the old days, <laughs> Uncle Paul. So you think that uh, the, the, so Bin Laden, whatever he's doing in the bedroom, knows what's happening. He obviously knows they're coming for me. He hears the helicopters right. shooting, people yelling in that silly language. <laughs> and he just got to sit there and kind of wait, knowing he's going to yeah, kill. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, he's and and he was up on an upper level, and uh, uh, along with one of his wives and you know a couple others. But I mean, it was it, it was clear. Uh, I think probably in his mind, you know, once once that the the choppers, you know, came up over that there was a problem. Yeah, there and, could and, be a know, problem. Yeah, yeah. And so having I think, a look at that uh, yeah. uh, American soldier though, uh, for that you know split second or whatever it took before he. He got popped. Uh, had to have just been a moment for him, like, oh shit. Yeah, but you, yeah, you do have to wonder. Uh, like you said, you raise that question about, you know, how long was that invitation to surrender? Right, right. And did, they, did the guy have to look through his dictionary? He's, 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 he's yeah, keeping yeah, a beat yeah, on him. Yeah. He's saying, okay, now let me form a sentence here. Yeah, do you want to surrender? Are you coming with me? Yeah, yeah, are you yeah. going? Yeah. You know. Yeah. But uh, to look, because um, obviously uh, that, that, that had to look very intimidating. <laughs> the, uh, an, American, an American SEAL uh, standing in front of him, uh, arm to the hilt, helmet, night vision, whatever he has on his helmet, and then just has, having to look at him like, motherfucker, they got me. Yeah. My neighbor was me. pissed. Really? Yeah, this Arnold uh, Alzawahari. He's this guy that lives next door to me. Oh, God. <laughs> creepy doctor that helps me out when I need the <laughs> Cialis. <laughs> Egyptian fella. <laughs> uh, Chris. Oh. We got uh, more on the list now. We got more. Uh, uh, Morgan, I guess, is Morgan Spurlock. In. You want to stick around, Mike? Yeah, I'd love to if you've got yeah, space. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, it's a timing issue today. We got, sure. we're, we got a lot of, lot going on. Morgan did a That's movie cool. about... He did a movie about going uh, up in London. Mm. Yeah, so it, is he outside the studio or? Yeah, I let's bring in this Morgan. Was, uh, before, um, obviously, before yeah. this happened, he had been putting this movie together. <laughs> hey, Morgan. This movie now. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good to see you again, brother. Good to see you. Hi, buddy. Mike yes. Baker. Yes. Mike Baker. Obviously, we're going to talk about the new movie, but we saw the old movie where you were, went after you know Osama bin Laden. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was in Pakistan. 
You did. I was. I was trying to remember. Pakistan. Had, I was watching that movie, going, "What the hell is he in Pakistan for?" When we know he's in Afghanistan. I was trying to remember if you made it to Pakistan. In that yeah, movie. no, that's where we ended up. We we ended in Pakistan. That's where the film. That's where we stopped. R yeah, right. Was, we were we were we were in Peshawar, about to cross into the tribal areas, and you know, at that point, my wife was about a month away, a month and a half away from having our child, and I said, you know, what, I think it's about time for me to go home. Yeah. As, as, as the night before, the night before, we were about to cross over. Um, or a couple nights before, two nights before, there was a madrasa that was blown up uh, within the tribal area where I guess like 75, 80 people were killed. And, you know, the the report was it was a it was a training. It was an Al Qaeda training camp. And everybody in the region was like, no, it's not true. And all the journalists were there like saying you should not go in there. It would be uh, a very yeah, bad idea for uh, bad. you and my American friend to how, uh, go how, wandering in. What they also was said was you should go to a battle bed. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but I went home. Yeah, you know? exactly. yeah. how, how far were you from where they actually caught him? Um, probably about when we were in Islamabad, so shower was further west. When we were in Islamabad, we were probably about, I'm guessing, 40 miles. Yeah, they said yeah. 30, 30 40 miles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah. close. Yeah. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you know how annoyed the people that work at the drugstore across the street were? Like, that was fucking 25 million sitting across the street for three years. <laughs> we blew it. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and uh, back then, did people think that, you know, he was in Pakistan? Well, people thought he was, um, well, the reports were that he wasn't in that, uh, in this, this compound where he was that whole time. Like, they didn't get, like, confirmed intelligence, I think, that he was there until, like, middle of last year that he was still moving around um, when we were there everybody was thinking he was still in like Waziristan you know in the tribal area like hiding out you mm -hmm. know in that region so uh, and that's where everybody was pointing us to head Wow. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, if the, he was the, for a the while. fact that he was like in some big giant compound right outside the the capital is pretty phenomenal. It really yeah. it was so I yeah. guess you you are surprised then when you heard the news. Yeah, uh, it was, it was, wow. like, it was like wow. He's like wow. He's right outside of town. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the burbs. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really, Johnson right across yeah. the street yeah. from there. That's, right. yeah. That's why I just pictured him looking exactly like he does with the. Uh, you know, headgear and the big beard just pushing a lawnmower <laughs> outside his house, <laughs> waving to the neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edging amazing. the uh, curb. Yeah, right. <laughs> you see this big fucking turban over the seven foot wall bouncing. <laughs> 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 Who lives there? It's a tall gentleman. Yeah, he certainly is. <laughs> So what is your uh, what's your new your new project? You do great stuff, man. Yeah, no, thanks. It's uh, it's a new movie uh, that looks at the whole world of like uh, advertising, marketing, and product placement. And the whole film's actually paid for by advertising and product placement. I saw the trailer for this, uh, yeah. and it looks hysterical. Uh, uh, and and it looks at first impossible. Yeah. But you pulled it off. Yeah. And the product placement thing is is hilarious mm -hmm. because it's everywhere. It's every, yeah, it every, gets every, to every the point you where you're today. just going around getting sponsorships in these meetings right uh which came off some of them looking ludicrous <laughs> yeah. sitting down with these people like they couldn't believe what you were trying to do and uh but but you pulled it off. Yeah, no, we raised uh, we raised the full budget of the movie through sponsors, like about one point eight million dollars, uh, which is nothing because the story just broke yesterday that uh, the Double O Seven film, the new Double O Seven, a third of that movie is going to be paid for by product placement. Oh, oh really? So, oh. Yeah. so a third of the, like fifty oh, million wow. dollars of that budget. So it's like that whole movie is going to be like a giant like commercial just for a like, commercial. tuxedos and uh, and Aston Martin watches, <laughs> and watches and yeah. cool James Bond. Shit. <laughs> Do you remember the first, <laughs> PPKs? the first time I saw product placement was in Superman Two that I can remember. Remember that I recognized mm. when he gets thrown through a Marlboro truck. You, you, that was the, like uh, you know, when they're fighting in the street. That's the first time I can remember acknowledging a product that was in yeah. a movie. Well, he gets I mean, tossed through the big Coca Cola sign. That's too. right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't remember that. That's part. right. No, I mean I remember as a kid when I went to see E. T. and I'd never had a Reese's Pieces, and I as a kid I loved the M and M's. The M and M's were amazing. I loved Reese's Cups, and now here was a uh -huh. Reese's Cup in an M and M. I was like, holy cow, it's the best in. of both worlds. Shit, I'm in. Yeah. Did they say like, that in E. T.? I don't remember. No, they didn't say what it was. They said Reese's pieces and I said what is that and my mom oh. said my mom leaned over she goes it's like a Reese cup in an M&M and I was like oh. we're going to the store Sounds immediately fantastic <laughs> yeah. they sold a few through That's that right. movie yeah they did alright yeah. what was the earliest uh, product placement do you know uh, the sheets like, birth of a nation yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, very high thread count of sheets <laughs> <laughs> no the uh, the amazing thing like Thomas Edison you know or even before that like Jules Verne sold, uh, sold the naming rights to shipping companies in around the world in 80 days so in a book but but, uh, but in film, uh, Thomas Edison used to put ads for his own products in the movies that he shot. What a whore. Genius, I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's great. Hey, genius. the light bulb. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> this is some good stuff right there. <laughs> wow. So uh, you wound up getting the whole thing paid for uh, through sponsorships. Yeah. And um, so that's the best part. So like day one, the movie opened, the film was already in profit. 
Yeah, see, that's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, now yeah. what, and all they wanted in return was that their logo be well. No, they featured. wanted they wanted a lot more than that. Like they wanted ownership in the film. We were like, absolutely not. It's like you're giving me money to be in the movie. So you're, right, it's not, you're, you're going to go sell like widgets. Go sell your widgets. That's yeah, where so you it had money. nothing to do with them uh, loaning you money and and then uh, you having to compensate through profit on the the movie. It's yeah, it's strictly product placement. And it, does, it, does it work like a, a NASCAR? Uh, a sponsorship where you know the fender gets a little more. The hood is like the big money. And yeah, like the people who paid the most. Like I, you know, I have a uh, I have a suit that I that I yeah, wear on yeah, television. I saw it's that, like my, my NASCAR prom suit. <laughs> yeah, and so like anybody who's in like the on the lapels, those are like very it's very high high dollar value. That's like a big right across one. right across the stomach, high dollar value. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it did work like that where the but the placement placement uh, they, everything. They had to uh, cough up some more more money. Yeah. Wow. And and the fact that the movie is about getting the money. It's sort of this weird paradox thing. Yeah, like uh, Jimmy Kimmel, when he saw the film, he goes, well, this is like the inception of documentaries. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, was, I was like, I'm putting that on the poster. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, there wouldn't be a documentary if you weren't making it about something, making money to that's make right. the documentary. Right. So it really is an odd concept. But, yeah. uh, Smart that's, that's you. <laughs> that's yeah, that's the right. odd, concept, odd concept. Uh, <laughs> that, that is you. Do you notice other people kind of coming out with the... Um, these Morgan Spurlock esque documentaries. Well, it's like there's. I always get sent emails of people who have like, uh, you know, the people who continually to make films to like disprove like the McDonald's diet, like the, the disprove super size me. It's like, look, I ate it for six years and I'm still healthy. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's uh. So I always get I always get those emails from people, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who are doing like stunt films now or putting themselves in movies. It's it's, it's crazy. Super size me was great. You, oh, fu nice. you fucked up your body. Yeah, for, <laughs> like, to, to this day, like I, I like will gain weight like that. Like I can put on five, ten pounds in a weekend. You think that just genetically changed you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I think that what people don't realize is when you gain weight, you know that uh, that when you lose it, when you lose it, those fat cells don't vanish. They're like, oh, it's, I'm going to be fine now. It's like those fat cells just don't like you know jump ship. They're still in there. They're just really skinny. Uh, so really? Now my body's filled with all these. And they're just skin. waiting. They're just waiting. I got these little <laughs> <Just> skinny, <laughs> just waiting. skinny yeah. Renee Zellweger Come on, cells Morgan, just swimming feed around us, my body. Morgan. Yeah. Exactly. That at any moment, yeah. if you uh, more, eat wrong, one more just... slice of pizza. One more. <laughs> oh. Is that what lipo does? It actually takes them out. Is that why people get lipo? It sucks the fat cells out. Oh, okay. So they, so then you can eat a, a piece of cake at least, and you don't blow up immediately. That's right. Uh, I, I, I can't. Think, oh. Thinking yeah. about it? <laughs> <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> My idea, I do 30 minutes on the elliptical machine, and I reward myself with a treat. <laughs> Fucking fat pig hamster. <laughs> Poor Jimmy. <laughs> Sick of my body. <laughs> what, uh, when, when does the movie come out? It's it out. just opened. Oh, it is just out. Open. Yeah. Just open? Yeah, just open. So what Where? was the, the total budget? Uh, the, for the whole film, is one point eight million. That's what I thought so you said. Okay, so, yeah, you, so it wasn't a lot. You're probably gonna do well with this. You're not gonna lose, obviously. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, the, hopefully, knock on wood. But uh, yeah. you know, that's, that's the thing. It's like there's brands that came on. Like we we sold the above the title sponsorship to the movie, so the movie's actually called Palm Wonderful Presents, the greatest movie ever sold. Yeah. And so they bought the above the title sponsorship for a million bucks, but we didn't get the full million up front. We only got six hundred grand. So the other four hundred is tied to like you know certain box office and screens worldwide and downloads and DVD sales. And, yeah, and they were really they were smart about their uh, their negotiating. How much does big product placement cost like in a, in a major hundred million dollar film? Well, like uh, like in Transformers, they paid like ten million bucks to have like all the like all the what I guess General Motors, all the all the Camaros and all the all yeah, the new cars in there. Right. Yeah, but what yeah. what about a box of cereal in in the kitchen? Oh, it's, you know what I mean? It's like 50, uh, 50 grand. That's it. 150, 100 grand. That, that seems like a pretty good deal. Depends on how close it is. Too bad they didn't do that with Bin Laden's murder. How great would that have been? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking this, right. this shot sponsored by Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really confused by that. I'm confused by this movie because what do you t you tell the sponsors that they're going to be in this movie? Yeah. That kind of takes the piss out of uh, being sponsored the movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but what it's kind of like that reverse cool thing, right? Then they right. kind of get some cred yeah. because they're in with something that's you know. You know but how do you tell them what? They're yeah, doing? right. How do you tell them what the movie's about? I basically tell them, say, it's a movie all about this that's uh, basically paid for by this. That's, it's that's be great. It's one of the just funniest, amazing. But yeah. that's some of the funniest things. What I saw in, in the trailer was yeah. uh, in the conference rooms when you're talking to these people and trying to convince them that this is a great idea. It's a great idea. It's all about product placement. You're going to pay to be in the movie. And, yeah. Uh, right. And it wasn't easy. Like, we called, uh, I called over 600 companies to sponsor the film, um, of which you know 97.5% of them said no. Like right. The success rate in this film was like 2.5%. <laughs> I was you know? very happy to yeah. see the pony shampoo. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
Made, made in tail. Made, I, made, made yeah, in tail. Right. Made in tail. I just, got in there. I just feel like you would be stuck in a loop, though. Yeah. And then they go, but what's the movie about? Right. And then you say it again, but what's the movie about? It's a paradox. And then I say, you're watching the movie right now. This is it. Right now, we're shooting. Morgan, you're brilliant. We're shooting. You're fucking brilliant. Yeah, at one point, and the shot is hysterical because somebody goes, what's the movie about? And and Morgan just turns around and goes, this is it. You're in it. You're in it already. You don't even know it. What was the biggest surprise yes you got? The biggest surprise, yes, yeah, was, the, the, uh, was a Hyatt Hotels, like Hyatt, uh, which is like a real oh, kind go, of yeah, real conservative, uh, conservative company, conservative family. Like when they jumped on, I was like, "Wow, we might actually pull this off. This, <laughs> this is fantastic." Uh, uh, what was it like? Some mom and pop, like Bob's, you know, Bob Shipping. You know, it's like a real company. Hey, that's a good question. When did you realize that this was going to be a movie that people would see? Because you go into this going, this could be a disaster. Yeah, well, you never know. I think I think Sundance when the movie premiered at Sundance and it played. No, like, I mean when you were filming though. Oh, like, where you knew well, as a creative was, person that, that you had something. Um, there was a moment when uh, when we called Main and Tail when I was speaking to them on the phone. Yeah, Main and, and I, Tail. And I was chasing them for months to try and get them to do the movie. And uh, finally, about halfway, I, I set up a call with them. I'm talking to the president of the company, and you hear like so you hear me say to him on the phone, say he goes, "Well, how's it going to work?" And I said, "Well, we'll probably see the product in the beginning. You and I'll have a conversation." somewhere in the middle talking about the placement and then we'll see it again in the end wow. and he goes that sounds great and as I was having that phone conversation and we're filming it I'm like oh yeah we're just I this that, that all just actually happened right during that <laughs> yeah, perfect. 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 Yeah, I could cross that one off done, yeah, yeah. Yeah. done. <laughs> was, was there one was there a sponsor that you really wanted to get that didn't come through well, I really wanted a. See, the whole goal was to make like a documentary blockbuster, mm -hmm. like a, like a dockbuster, and yeah. you can't have a blockbuster without a fast food partner. Well, and so, sure, yeah. and so, I was like, well, we gotta have a fast food partner. So, of course, we called McDonald's. McDonald's didn't call back. They Yo, said, you I called, they, they, I me. Them, I called them four times, five times. Like literally, I'm calling like, the fifth time, <laughs> sixth time. I left a message. I'm like, hey, it's Morgan Spurlock. It's gonna be really different this time. <laughs> Please call me. You know, here's my number. Thanks. Uh, never called back. <laughs> they hate you, don't they? they it's, well, it's, it's, we got a great relationship, you know. I, I know. call them; they don't call back. Works out fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's the strange thing. Super Size Me did great, and, and you yeah. didn't affect their numbers in the end. Mm -mm. Maybe in the short term, they, maybe. they did better in the end. I think they're. Uh, I think they're worth. You think your movie actually helped their business? They should. They should. Be, they should send me a thank you note. Yeah, yeah <laughs> or really. at least like some sort of like a, a pick me up bouquet, <laughs> made out of like bacon and fries. Right. <laughs> Do you eat Egg there at all ever? Never. Never. No, not <laughs> never. Last time, no, the last time I ate there was March second, two thousand three. Like the at the party scene at the end of the movie, you see me kind of having my final birthday. Farewell. Right. Yeah, that was it. it. That I was like it. the occasional coming home on the road at two in the morning. There's nothing open. The rest areas all have uh, McDonald's, and I'll grab a couple of ham. Once in a while, it's great, yeah, but I can't do it more than once every two months. Yeah, like see, but like late at night, I find there's so many. There's other great places to get burgers in the city. Like there's great like dirty, dirty in New York, yeah, oh, in New York, yeah. yeah. The rest of the country doesn't York. have that. Yeah, in the city, it's like, why the hell would you bother? Yeah, yeah. There's so it's many great good burgers, places. so many good burgers. Yeah, yeah, but like if I'm in LA, like I love uh, like the original Tommy Burger, like at Beverly and Rampart, that's out in East LA. It's like this little shack that's been making burgers for like 50, 60 years, and <laughs> it's like a heart attack and a wrapper. <laughs> but like that's a great late night burger. How's Five Guys? I haven't had one yet. Five Guys pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I had Five Guys. Oh no, I didn't even know it was a place. I just thought that was an odd question. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it's like, is this his next yeah. documentary? Yeah, like, that's that's five guys. Guys. It sounds like a lot of work. It's like a, it's like a new Belladonna <laughs> movie. That's, <laughs> that's worse than four, not as bad as six. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back with you. You remember, right? Way back, I bet you will. Way back. Uh, remember that? Way back oh, when you guys. Man, we were yeah. at WNEW. You were on he came in as, radio. That's you, it. But you came in as a nobody with this nobody. idea that did very well, and then yeah. uh, you moved on we to film. To, we sold it to MTV. Like yeah. we, we were with you guys first when we were on the web. Yeah, like you guys shit, picked up I on totally it early. Didn't even realize that was you. That's remember right. he would, he yeah. would do, like street stuff. I, yeah. I'm trying to remember exactly. Like, he made people, people, he would like, talk for people more to money. Yeah. Crazy yeah. Shit. Talk, I bet you will. And we bet people to do stupid shit on the street for money. Just walk up to random people out of nowhere. Yeah. And we did some great, great bets. We did one. Uh, we did one on the street, which we ended up redoing in your guys' studio, which was we handcuffed three people together, and uh, and uh, and it was called the piss off. And so the people, so they would just, they would start drinking like, you know, 10 ounces of liquid every minute. And the first person to pee themselves got a hundred bucks. The second person, right. the second person got nothing, and the third person got five hundred dollars. So there was, so there was a strategy. <laughs> yeah, oh, there was wow. a strategy to it, right? <laughs> do you just do it to take the? So do you do either just say, you know what, I'm just going to take the hundred bucks and just go quick. Be the first guy. Be the first, or do you try and hold out till the end? We're, we're, we're not allowed to do those bits anymore. No, 
Th- yes. Those were the days. We had, somebody died from a water drinking but contest our, uh, our, years ago. Our yeah. favorite bit, St. Paddy's Day, we were giving money to the first guy that would piss his pants in front of a, a huge crowd. Remember that? Oh, yeah. He got up on stage and just... <laughs> just uh, the wet spot appeared. The place went nuts. <laughs> How long did he hold I wish out? we had video of that. How long was, did the guys hold out? Like, that person hold, held out like an hour, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. It was a long time. I don't time. think we did anything else that day. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time. A little different than what you do, wow. right, Mike? <laughs> yeah, you know, we would hold the same contest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. downtime. You're in a safe house for weeks and weeks. <laughs> Believe me, I, I'm sure there are a few times. Things. Yeah. I'm sure there are a few times you watch people piss themselves, too. <laughs> yeah. For varying reasons. That's right. <laughs> what do you think they're going to be? Uh, back to, uh, what, do you, what do you think they're going to do about uh, Al Zawahari? I mean, they, he's the last one. Of those guys, it's got to be caught. Well, there's a, there's a lot of them, it's, and that's the problem. <clears throat> they got a, almost a bottomless well of of, of, uh, of douchebags that they can recruit, <laughs> and and also, you know, there there are. I, I hate to say this because it makes them sound a little bit more like Lex Luthor, but there's succession plans, right? And so, mm-hmm. you know, Zawahiri is the logical one, and he's the one that a lot of people say, oh, it's got to be Zawahiri. But you know, he's got problems, and. Um, you know, first and foremost, he's, he's an Egyptian. That doesn't set well with the Saudis and Yemenis within the group. Mm. And, and, you know, he's, a, he's kind of a, he fancies himself a big thinker, right? Uh, not necessarily an operational strategist, but there are others within. They've got a military committee. They've got a couple of guys in that. Uh, they've got a couple of strategists. Even, you know, some scumbag like uh, al Laki, you know, could end up rising up to the top. So somebody will take this guy's place. And, and you know, it's naive to think that just because we tap bin Laden, somehow that's the demise of, of Al Qaeda. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got to, and, and, you know, with the guys in the agency and the guys in, in certainly the teams and elsewhere, they know better, right? They, they're going to enjoy the moment. You know, and then it's back to work. Back it's already to work. back to work. Right. Yeah, so. yeah. What do you think the threat level is? Uh, you know, just and I know I, I, as orange. far as what I hear. Yeah, it's a word orange. orange. <laughs> I, I, I think. Well, I remember, we got rid of that plan. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. That's gone. It's all new now. Uh, I, I don't think Bin Laden and a lot of people are saying it wasn't really a day to day guy with Al Qaeda. Right. Uh, but as far as being a figurehead, pretty huge. And uh, taking him out, it seems like they would want to do something uh, to make up for that. So what do you think our, our uh, level of threat is at? Do you think, you think it's pretty high or you think uh, we're making a little much of it? No, no, no. I'd say there's a, there's a, a heightened uh, uh, concern right now over potential retaliatory strikes, right? Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, logic just tells you, you know, there's not anything specific yet, you know, uh, mm-hmm. but they'll be watching, you know, obviously for any potential, you know, everybody likes to use the term chatter, but basically they're looking for any movement. And something like this, anytime you, anytime you have a scenario like this, it creates movement, which is fantastic because, mm-hmm. you know, that's, it's like the rats putting their heads up. Starts but, bringing people out. Then, yeah. you, then you got opportunities to, you know, to take out others or to develop new leads. And, you know, but there is a concern that, you know, in the short term, for sure, uh, Al Qaeda, even the Taliban and some others are, are going to be looking at an opportunity to show that they're still relevant. Right? Yeah, yeah. That just taking yeah. him out didn't uh, destroy him. Who is the scariest person you <laughs> came across there, Morgan, in uh, your travels? I mean, we came across some people. I mean, we were in the middle of a Taliban ambush when we were in Afghanistan, which is, you know, never a good thing to be in the middle of. No. Yeah. Would you have rather? <laughs> yeah. Would you have rather? have been shot and killed or captured in, in a moment like that, knowing what they do to capture an American? Well, I, don't, I think you might have had, it depends on who captured you. You may have had a chance to live if you were captured. So you, so so you would hold on I, to that hope? I, I would have I gone with captured. Oh, yeah. Holding on to that hope, though, that, oh, my God, please don't make me this saw the head don't off the guy. Don't make me the video. Yeah. I don't, don't want to be the video guy. Never let yourself, never let yourself get captured. I, you know, I, yeah. whether you're talking about, you know, I, t- I tell my, you know, my, my kid this all the time. I said, you know, anybody tries to grab you, you know, that that is it. You do anything it takes, you know, to not go in a car, not get and 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 it's true when you're talking about terrorism, right? You know, and and you you don't want to be that guy, oh. you know, that that ends up, you know, having to be, you know, off that way. Yeah, that's hard. And so you see the orange jumpsuit hanging yeah. up in your size. Uh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. your best yeah. opportunity to, to to get out of any situation like that is at that moment that it's happening, right? And, you know, right. and, and at so the you abduction. Yeah. How old is your kid? Uh, I got a kid who's getting ready to go to college, and okay. then I got uh, little toddlers. Who I would imagine your kids four. know some moves, though. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 they're moves all very early. Arms, yeah, go for the eyes. <laughs> it's all about going for the eyes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah and Morgan, you, it has to be said, <laughs> is crazy for going over there and doing that documentary. That is a little crazy, there, Morgan. That, that's insane, especially yeah, yeah. how you look. You, you know, it's a belief. You kind of look yeah, like the, an American. You are the American. I am so not the guy that fits in. Yeah, I'm trying to look like a middle relief picture. It's like a big giant. <laughs> albino walking around it's, Afghanistan. It's Don't sell f- yourself short. You blend. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's been a few years. How did you blend in again? I can't remember. 
Uh, well, I mean, even after I grew out my beard, which once I grew it out became very thick and red, it looked like, again, I looked like a very pale Santa Claus in the middle of this. Of this but, whereas my cameraman grew his out and he, he looked like, he, he looked like an him. Afghan. He looked like an Afghan. It's like, he looked fantastic. It's like me, I did not blend at all. Right. He'd have been like, I did not know this man. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm, six, I'm, like, I'm like six foot two, so I'm already like almost a foot taller than, uh, like a head taller than everybody that's on the street. And uh, this pale, lanky, you know, I, yeah, did you see did anyone like in. you there? Uh, yeah, uh, both of them. I mean, <laughs> that was like, it. Right? There, was like, no, there was like one or two other guys who were who were and very wh- pale, but this and why are they rare. there? Very making, mo- making documentaries. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just no you find you would see you'd see other journalists there who looked like me, but most of the guys you know didn't wander too yeah. far outside of. They like, just uh, hold up their Canadian passport and laugh at you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm Swiss. You're going first. <laughs> That's right. I got to cancel. I got a gig. I'm supposed to host at lunch at this uh, Kiwanis Club in Karachi. I'm like, oh, this is <laughs> not the right time. I I do typically yeah. well there, but you should probably cancel. <laughs> yeah. Toastmasters. <laughs> yeah, that just seems like a uh, pretty uh, scary thing you did there. Uh, and, and like before, what what kind of uh, situation was that with the Taliban? Uh, well, what? I mean, so we we were uh, we were embedded with the troops, and we were uh, on a patrol with them. And then, right in the middle of it, they were getting shot at. Uh, right, it wasn't far outside of uh, it wasn't far outside of Kabul. We were probably about an hour out of Kabul. And I would gather they responded in they kind. Did. <laughs> yes. They did. They responded very Ten, much in tenfold kind. Tenfold in kind. As, uh, that guy got dragged off. You know, not alive. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I was I was watching some videos. Uh, Online and and they showed uh, one guy um, and he was he was firing I guess uh, RPG mm-hmm. and um, he fired one RPG and you just see him get lit up I mean this guy had to just be an idiot <laughs> one guy with an RPG Man. and then you see tracer rounds just filling the weeds where there's nothing nothing left to that guy yeah. I do like how the Americans do respond to uh, some of those situations <laughs> seen a lot of videos too where um, it really does dispel because it's available now. I mean, people have cameras. They, they have their own cameras that they, they, they send uh, uh, videos to their families and whatnot, and they get out. And this whole thing of, you know, this soldier, this John Wayne type soldier just gets blown out the window. And it's like, holy shit, that motherfucker came apart. Yeah. You're like, wow, that, the mindset that takes is uh, amazing. How long are we yeah. going to be in Afghanistan? I mean, it's like That's things, exactly like, things like with this kill team that came out recently. It's like, this, whenever you're somewhere long enough, there's going to be guys who fuck up and do awful stuff. Like, you know, there was Milai in Vietnam. You're going to have it. You can't avoid it. And it's like, well, when do got, we just get out guys, of there? You got guys who are like doing, the, they're on like the third tour now. You yeah. Know, you got guys yeah. who are yeah. Yeah. more. Yeah, yeah more. Yeah. When do we like, just get out? What are we going to do? The if Taliban you, if is you did fine. two tours in Vietnam, like that was a huge deal. Right. These guys right. are on the third Three. tour. Wow. Yeah. There has That's to be something that happens in your mind where you're just like, I'm so used to this. This is nothing to me anymore. Yeah. Laughing at yourself when you vomited at your first friggin', you know, split open head. And now it's just like, hey, hey, check this guy out. And part of it's also just dealing with the tedium, right? right. I mean, there's, Mm. because, you know, there tends to be, it's like, it's like operations. You know, there's, there's there's months of, you know, and then all of a sudden you got five minutes of, of, of excitement, right? Yeah. And then you got months of crap. And then if I, so with, with the, the Afghanistan question, no, it's absolutely, that's exactly the question that should be. You know, being asked right now is what the fuck's our exit strategy? Mm-hmm. What's the game plan? And why do we honestly think it's in our national security interest to still be there trying Ten to create years. some bullshit pseudo stable semi democratic uh, institution? Right, right. They want, don't they want Sharia law? A lot of these places, like, why are we trying to force it on people? They don't want it. They don't want it. They want Sharia law. Let them have it. It's their country. Well, I mean, also the Taliban. I mean, you mentioned Vietnam. I, we, we, we're we not learning these lessons. We go huh. back 25 years to the Russian occupation of Afghanistan. There are a lot of similarities. I've gotten the, mm. some arguments with some military strategists who say, oh, it's nothing like when Russia was there. Well, bullshit. It's a lot like when Russia was there. And, you know, the Taliban has no place to go. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah, they're going to sit there and they're going to wait. And yeah. they, they know we're going to leave at some they point. They know they'll leave. Know? Yeah, right. they're very patient. <laughs> right. By the way, yeah. I like the fact that even on that, that level of, of, of guys who know their arguments are like ours, it, it's just like that. Ah, bullshit. No, it's not. <laughs> That's exactly the way me and him would argue it. <laughs> and we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, we, oh, we, cool. we, nice. we definitely should have some kind of exit, exit uh, strategy. But, and I think, I think the idea that we can keep just moving around and, and breaking down these Taliban uh, camps and, and training camps, it's a ridiculous notion. The mm-hmm. place is giant. Uh, they, they know it and will always know it and be able to uh, travel in those mountains better than we can, even, you know. Uh, 
and uh, they have the people, you know, the support of, of all the people. So what the fuck are we still doing? Well, we, we're, we're, we're tending to now kind of buy into this, this positive spin that's being put on how things are going. I mean, we, we saw it right after, you know, we, uh, the news came out on bin Laden. Say, well, this is, uh, the, the momentum is shifting, you know? And, 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 mm. and by the way, and then you, you heard some of the senior officials tag on about, you know, the, the positive steps that we're seeing in Afghanistan. Yeah. I don't know what they're watching, right? <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, yes, you know, wherever our guys are, they do a great job. Wherever they are, right, right. But the minute they leave, yeah, the minute they leave, or you know, right. th this idea that somehow we're going to leave behind. The Russians got in there, and after about four years, they they made the decision to get the fuck out. It took them about five years to figure out how to do that. Now, some of the things that they were worried about, some of the things that they were trying to figure out. One was they couldn't hold the countryside, so they retreated to the urban centers. And then another thing was, how do we leave behind a government? That's you know uh, friendly to us and gonna you know push forward our agenda. <laughs> well, how do we do that? Because they're well, they're corrupt and they're they're unstable and they're they're disjointed and dysfunctional. We're doing the same thing. Same We're dealing thing. with the same issues, and it's very very disappointing when you think back. And and I'm old enough to to remember when we were back there and we were trying to push the Russians out. It's very disappointing. If you had said to to, to back then, ah, oh, you guys are gonna be here soon. You're gonna yeah, be doing yeah. this. Yeah, I don't worry. You'll do the yeah. same thing. Right. That's right. right. Oof. And what about uh, we're out of Iraq, right? No, no we, not really. No, I thought I thought most of our uh, combat troops were out. Well, we're we're there in, in largely an advisory and training capacity, but that has a, an, an enormous psychological impact right now. Once we turn out the lights and walk out, you know, then it's a. I, I would argue that in Iraq, it's also still sort oh. of, you know, open book on what's going to happen. How, how many, many documentary? Guys, how many guys are there? Uh, shit, at this point, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Every documentary I've watched like that, on I? Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You know, there's 470, I think. Uh, yeah, something like that. That's yeah. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a high-level oh, yeah. discussion here. <laughs> the, uh, the, the Iraqi army is treated like garbage by the American military that is supposed to be training them. And, you know, they're the guys that are taking over. And every documentary I've seen, they're a joke. They are literally a joke uh, force that can't do seem to do anything right. It was constantly American uh, officers tell them, "Keep your fucking head down. What are you doing? Get your men over there. Move. Forget up. Move." Like they don't know what they're doing. So the second we leave, whatever uh, revolutionary force comes into power, or whatever uh, you know, whoever wants to take over, I don't think they're going to have much well, trouble when, well, that, stomping well, over well, the military. Gonna, it's going to be like with the Afghan national, the, uh, the the police, the Afghan national police, and the the Afghan national army, where they would be in fights and they would say, "No, no, we'll come to your side." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> we just want to be on whoever's winning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, and that's and that's a really really good point because you know everybody out there is is kind of making that calculation. You know yeah, what's yeah. going to happen when you guys leave? How how badly am I going to get? fucked in this equation right. if, I, if I fall on the wrong side of things. That's right. And, and then you've also got, you know, the, the, we've had an increase in the number of, of uh, incidents where Afghan soldiers have turned on our guys or yeah. you know, allied forces. And, you know, that creates sort of this, obviously, it's hard to trust when, you know, when the guys you're training, yeah. you know, there's been some problems like this. So... I, I, I'm just I'm, I'm not a, I'm not uh, I'm not hitting that bid on the whole. Yeah, I, thing. I don't I don't yeah. like the idea of uh, what, what's going to happen after we leave. I think it's just going to go right back to what it was. Uh, like you said, they're they're patient people. <laughs> yeah, isn't it just ego at this point? You don't want to look bad. I mean, after we left Vietnam, peace with honor. I know that. Yeah, <laughs> peace with I love honor. that one. <laughs> peace with honor. Really, <laughs> hightail your ass out of there, push the Hueys off the deck, <laughs> and let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Vietnam that came was... together as a country. They're fine. They're doing fine. They didn't. You know, it's like well, they did. Yeah, they don't and, need but, us. But at that point, it was such like like you could look at things now in the light of what we have today. But you look back then, that was a common communist domino again again we would not want any country to fall to the commies and that's why we did so much especially in southeast asia and whatnot but um now yeah of course there are tourists you go there to vietnam you're like hey here's one of the tunnels that's right. check it out it's a pisser <laughs> yeah. i mean people actually go there no no get in the pit i'll take yeah, a picture yeah, yeah, take yeah. my picture <laughs> yes well, sure. do a deer hunter scene you sit there yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's what's going to happen I mean, to the osama compound it's, it's, yeah, yeah it'll right. just become given it enough years yeah. given <laughs> enough years don't be surprised oh, God. i thought we burned the whole thing down but obviously we did not no, i thought no. so too what was the fire yeah there was I a big fire that was showing we blew up the blew up the chopper there were some you know cuz now 
they got soldiers on the roof of that place just kind of, you know, yeah, uh, securing uh, yeah, it. Pakistanis yeah. are over there they now. Took over. Hey, they what do you... Yeah, good. Yeah, I had to take the empty fucking house. <laughs> exactly. We don't care. I know well, we're like at... the, uh, the governor in the governor in the Jalalabad, or the governor of the province there, wants to tur- wanted to turn Tora Bora into a theme park. <laughs> <laughs> just no surprise. Yeah, flume ride. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right through the mountain. You take a wacky picture and all of a sudden your head winds up on your back. I know we're wrapping up with Mike Baker. I want to ask you about... Uh, uh, the conspiracy guys, because uh, we got some audio of uh, good old Alex Jones that we're going to play oh after the break. God. We're going to go in another direction here. He thinks uh, Bin Laden's been dead for of years. Of course he does. Blah, 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 frozen. Blah, blah, blah. They yeah. froze him up, and now they uh, decide yeah. to do this now yeah. and tell the world that he's yeah. dead. Right. Put for... Ted Williams' head on his body. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. a great ball player yeah. now. <laughs> the, uh, what, yeah. what, 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 is, what, do you th- what do you think when uh, you hear stuff like I, you that? You know what? There's always going to be a small segment of, of, of people, you know, strapping on their tinfoil hats and, you know, coming up with this bullshit ideas. And you're never going to be able to push them off that, that mark, right? Mm-hmm. No matter what you do, you know. And so you just got to deal with it. You say, okay, fine. That, that exists. And, you know, the more you respond to them, you know, the, the, the more they dig in, right? Do you and think they, they should assume, show yeah. the, the photo? You think the photo should be a show? Yeah, I, I th- you know what? Honestly, they have to. They, they're going to have to, exactly. They're going to have yeah. to. And it's I, not as if America hasn't seen worse on CSI. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know? No, they're going to have yeah, to. Yeah, I, I hear the next thing is the video of uh, <laughs> dropping them in the sea. That's going to be released. Yeah, that, that'll be, a, a, oddly, you know, that'll be probably in... an easier call than the, uh, the headshots. Is you know? this uh, mm-hmm. yeah. to shut up some of these conspiracy guys well i, I think it, like it, we said earlier part, it's, it's not so much to shut them up as just to you know uh convince I, I don't mean convince but to show the world not necessarily that batch of conspiracy theorists because I, they're, they're smart enough to know that's not going to change their opinion right mm, nothing but, will right No, but it's it's kind of to bring sort of a, a, a final you yeah know, it is kind of a hey look what happened around look it. what yeah. happened to this yeah. guy because <laughs> like we said earlier to start this it wasn't good enough to just blow up the compound and say we we right. got him it was really important to get some footage proving we got him some dna some Absolutely. maybe some video some still pictures right 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 and then you know it's so that seems exhausting yeah. well when you just yeah. want to go in and get the job done uh, well you know it, it, it happens so quick right i mean because yeah. you know you, you, you take a couple of snaps you know, you, you, you upload them. Uh, you got analysts sitting on the other side of the world. You know, they do the facial recognition. Uh, you know, they've got, I mean, it only takes a very short while. It takes a few hours, you know, to run DNA nowadays, you know. Mm-hmm. And we had DNA samples from, you know, from family members, from some of his, you know, half siblings and, and uh, kids. So, you know, you run that. Uh, you got dental records and fingerprints. You know, you put all of that together. And aside from just the fact that you know you got the motherfucker, right? You, you know <laughs> yeah, that. But you yeah. got to go through these other steps to prove it to the uh, world. And, and when you release the picture of him dead, people will go, oh, that's not him. It's, right. ob- it's obvious Photoshop. it's not him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's Photoshop. Photoshop. Yeah. His eyebrows right. are different. This it's like Saddam. Blah, blah, blah. Saddam, had, Saddam had all those, uh, all those uh, you know, people who would go impersonate him. That's just yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you can yeah. tell the bridge of his nose. So weird. Yeah, exactly. it's so, yeah. so weird to see those death shots. Oh, oh, Remember yeah. when the Saddam thing came oh, out? Osama's yeah. brow looks different. Yeah, there's a hole in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's obviously. I see a very nervous publicist outside, so I think Morgan's got to go. you got a busy schedule today, Morgan? As they say. All day. He has a hard out at 7.30. Well, hard out. <laughs> hard out. Well, I don't know how you do it, but you continue to make movies, sir. Thanks. He comes out and says, I don't know how he does it. I don't, oh, get, it. I don't get it. Part that's of me is thinking that's super a backhanded side. insult. Well, that's wait a minute. That's part of me, like my whole life. Yeah. we've known Morgan for a, a while. When Super Size Me came out, it's I was like, 10 years. this is a great movie, but yeah. is this a, a one-hit wonder? You're proving the, you're nope. proving to the world you're not a one-hit wonder, sir. And that's where I'm going with this. Thank you. And you guys got, come on, we got a documentary with Collector Cups. I see Collector Cups in here. Why not? What, you, what's your uh, next great. movie? Are you starting to think of something? You no, know, we already shot it. We shot it last summer. Jesus. Uh, we, yeah, uh, no, he's pumping them oh, out. Yeah, we're the overachiever. Like, I love, uh, yeah, right? like, I love Comic-Con. Like, I love comic books. So we went to San Diego Comic-Con and made a film about, like, all the people that go there. Oh, we followed damn, folks in. It's great. great. We're right, right now. Perfect. I love watching those, man. Perfect. It's, it's great. Ugh. Uh, yeah, right. you guys Some will people take are fucking <laughs> weird, man. Yeah, very right, cool. Get, Morgan Spurlock. Yeah, let's get Thanks, him out guys. Of here. Appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for a great day, man. The movie's in uh, theaters now. The greatest movie ever sold. Yeah, and then yep. go on the website, thegreatestmovieeversold.com, to find out where it's playing near them. Mike, cool. can you plug in anything? Yeah, we're done, Mike. Uh, yeah, thanks, Morgan. Great to see you. Uh, no, you know what? Thanks, not, Morgan. Not, uh, thanks, Morgan. Not really. Just, uh, you know, big uh, kudos to the agency and, and, yeah, the, and the team amazing, right? for what they've done. But no, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not plugging anything. I'm a simple person. <laughs> I'm a simple man with a simple plan. You got plan. the tie on. More TV for you today, sir? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. I'm all over the map. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, Good yeah, for you. Yeah, so. I'm doing red eye later in the... Uh, 
in the in the month. I I, I hope you're on. I always have a blast when yeah, you. Uh, I when appreciate you do that. saying that. Yeah, I, I just fun, did it last man. night, and it was an all all Bin Laden special last yeah, night. Yeah, uh, singing sure. and dancing, and you know, <laughs> we, had, we had reminiscing. We had some of his old friends come on and talk about a variety it. show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're hoping Jimmy's going to lead a roast <laughs> yeah. of, of, of the dead Bin Laden. Uh, <laughs> uh, we need a break. So yeah. thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. The virus. Serious XM. Follow the Opie and Anthony Show online. Facebook.com slash Opie and Anthony. Twitter.com slash Opie Radio. Twitter.com slash Anthony Cumia. And Twitter.com slash Jim Norton. This is the Opie and Anthony Show.